Hello and uh, happy Wednesday ladies and gentlemen. Here we are once again. I know as I start my live stream I've got a cat scratching like a crazy cat at my door. Let me hit my mute button and give that a... Okay, I saw our little paw prints just pitter-patter away. Alright, so anyways, here we are once again. Um... Yeah, happy Wednesday. Uh, this is a uh, Project Healing Water special. We will be uh, tying uh, some flies tonight. Uh, we do our fly tying every Wednesday night, rain or shine. Uh, the only thing is, is before coronavirus, we used to do this face-to-face -face out at the St. Cloud VA Hospital. Uh, yeah, something magical and healing about tying flies and fly fishing. I'm trying to pull up our uh, live stream here on the iPod so I can see the chat when I spin around to the bench. So how's everybody doing tonight? Uh, give it a few minutes. Let uh, let the gang all tune in. We've got Ben. Hello. Hiya. How are you? Feel free to say hi to me or each other in the chat. That's always a, uh, I always like seeing everybody chitter chatter in the pitter patter. There we go. This always takes me a minute or two because I'm old and we got this uh, old technology. There we go. We're good to go. I can see me, I can see you. No, I can't see you. But I can see me, you can see me. There we go, put the thing over there, and there we have it. I've got, I decided to go with tea tonight. I've got a English breakfast tea. This is my uh, Montana mug. I've got my father, my brother, and I. Some Lego peoples, and same thing over on the other side. To family all out there in the Montanas. Anyway, I'll set this over here so I don't spill it. Speaking of Montana, tonight we are going to be tying um, a fly called the Montana Nymph. Uh, I've seen it called the Montana Stonefly. Um, all sorts of variations to it and like we do every night this will be uh, my variation of it or this is how I tie a Montana stonefly or I'm sorry a Montana nymph um, so yeah let's go ahead and uh, get right to it um, it's not a super complicated fly it's relatively simple and uh, the materials are pretty pretty basic uh, we'll go over it as we get to it, like we do every week. We'll do this every week for two hours, thereabouts-ish. Uh, depends on, you know, the end. It might end a little bit early. Sometimes we may or may not go a little bit long. Depends on how things are cooking in the oven. But it says we got seven people tuned in right here, right now. Where does it say that? It says that right there. That's how I can always track on who's watching, how many people. And then I got the time and the date, and I keep that little scroller ticking across the bottom. And tonight it's all about Project Healing Waters, healing those who have served for my veterans. We just had Veterans uh, Day it was last week, and uh, next week we will be doing the Gobble Till You Wobble game. Anyways, let's go ahead and spin this bad boy over. We'll get to the bench, and we will tie some flies what do you say this is again this is a montana nymph let there be light give that a little i turn that light on um, after i spin around because otherwise i have too much backlight and i've experimented putting the camera somewhere over here but because of all the light beaming down on the vice uh we have lost uh, you lose the ability to see anything all right so anyways we're gonna start these on a size 10 size 10 will be what we're gonna start we're gonna start big and then we're gonna bump these down to a size 12 
possibly. Anyways, we have a, uh, there's our size 10 hook. And we are going to be tying these on some barbless nymph hooks. And I was looking for my additional little ruler earlier, and I did not see it. Because I think this hook actually comes out as like maybe a 1x long or something like that. Anywho. Alright, so anyways, to start this off, we're going to add a little bit of weight. We're going to add a little bit of lead free wire. 0 0.025 is what I'm going to start off with this one. Uh, your lead free wire is not as dense as a uh, lead wire however it is um, a little bit more a little more better for the uh, environment let's go one two three four four turns just to start and you can kind of use that to ratchet get everything cleaned up on the back end there one two three four five Let's go six. Seven lucky wraps. There you have it. Why not? Um, let's find my nippers. And this is going to be a case of I just set it down and lost it. All right. Bing. Good evening, Josh. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Wednesday. Hope you had a good Veterans Day last week. All right. So we're going to park that kind of close to the front, um, leaving ourselves a little bit of room. Uh, obviously, we don't want to crowd the eye, so we're going to leave that uh, wire about an eye's length behind the eye. I, I. And conveniently, that's where we're going to start our thread. And the thread we're going to be using tonight is that ADOT Vivas. We're going to start right in front of that wire. A couple of turns on our thread. And then we'll work our thread right through that wire. Front to back. Few wraps back there to lock that off, and then we can trim off our excess. All right, we'll secure this uh, wire down a little bit. We're going to work our thread back and forth, nice and tight, over top of it, making sure it goes. You guessed where. Nowhere. All right. Nice and clean. You know where that wire's going? I believe that would be nowhere. All right. So, Montana Nymph. We need to add a tail. And I have some black saddle hackle. And Go ahead. This is a piece of the, of the feather I was working on earlier. And on the other side, I did the exact same thing. I strip off all the fuzzies on the bottom. And then I just grab a little bunch. And the closer we can get those tips to match, the better. And I think I did a pretty good job. Don't worry about the, uh, matching the ends of the stuff you just ripped off. What we're focused on is the tips. Hey, brother. All right. <clears throat> Let's get our uh, tail. And our tail, I like to go about, about a half a hook. We'll leave that coming off the back end there. And we'll wrap from the front to the back. Nice and tight all the way to the bend. 
if you go too far into the bend, your tail's gonna it's gonna look like a sad dog. Sad dog tail. That's what I like to look at it or think of it. When I always see a a fly that the tail it kinda pokes down just a little bit. It's not straight and proud. But hey, you know that might be what you're going for. All right, the back half of our body, the main portion of our body, the portion, main portion. There's going to be some black chenille. Medium fine chenille. You don't want it to be uh, oversized. But like we do all our chenille, we like to prepare it. I'm just going to strip off the fuzz. Look at that, we got those two little inner threads just like a uh, birthday candle wick. Or the inside, or, or the, it looks like the inside of a uh, pipe cleaner. But just a little bit sticking out. We're going to tie this in by that bit. It looks like that'll work. We'll advance our thread forward just a little bit. Maybe right about to that, just maybe one wrap into that lead wire, lead free wire. We're going to palmer this back end with our chenille. We'll take nice close touching wraps. Now the reason why we just didn't stop there is we just want to go up on here, maybe one bump just onto that wire because then that gives the back end of that body uh, that last little bit of a taper uh, forward. All right. We're going to tie this off on the top side. All right, make sure this stays on top because we're going to use this as our wing case. So don't trim that off yet. I'll say that one more time. Do not trim that off, and when we secure it, make sure it's secured on the top side of that fly. All right, here we go. We're going to get into it next. We got our, uh, we're going to do our hackle. We're going to tie in our hackle. And for that, I found myself a little bit of a uh, rooster cape. because I don't want oversized hackle on this. We're going to try to keep it relatively small and for that for me I need to go into this little rooster neck Get these small little black hackle feathers we don't need too much for length because we're going to end up uh, just taking a couple of wraps Find that transition point from those main barbs to those downs. I'm just going to go ahead and just trim that base of that stem off, that quill. Let's go just a little bit deeper, and then we'll do our little notch. A little notch here, and a little notch there. See what we got going on there? A little notch. Top side up, top side out. And we'll tie that in nice and tight. All right, next but not least, yellow chenille. Same, you know, again, we don't want this, uh, you don't want a super thick chenille. And this might actually dictate uh, how small you can go. If you have too big a chenille, you won't be able to get this down into a size 12 or 14 or anything like that. Okay, we'll tie in our chenille, our yellow. And ultimately, where this is going, grand picture of it, we're looking to have our yellow thorax representing approximately, we'll call it one third. One third, one third, two third, one third yellow, two third, the rest of it. 
which is a pretty common ratio. You see that across a lot of patterns, right? At that one third, two third point. All right, super simple. We'll build our little thorax, nice and tight, touching wraps. And we don't need to go two bananas with this. We're only going to get three, maybe four turns. And that's it, four wraps. And we'll secure that. We're already getting close to the eye of the hook. And as you know and I know, that's not necessarily ideal. All right, save our yellow chenille for our next one. Who knows what time it is? Can I get a time check? That's right. It's heckle time. We'll grab our heckle right by the tip. And because I got a little short feather here, I'm going to have to be really smart about this. I'm going to go ahead and take and use too much pressure. That's too much. Silently swear in my own mind after that breaks. There we go. I'm going to go once, twice, and thrice. Leave it like that. One, two, three. That's all I get. That's all I get. Oh, did it pop off? No, it did not. Saved. Holy smokes. All right, let's go ahead and take this top hackle. Let's fold it down. Oh, you know, it did not save it. That broke all the way off. Hmm. All right, we'll try that again. Too bad. All right. Let's we'll see if we get lucky this time. This is once. We're getting awfully short on our feather here. Maybe that'll. Hopefully that'll hold. I think it will. All right, excellent. Now we can just take this hackle. Let's up. Fold. It onto either side. We'll take our chenille that's on top. And this will be our little wing case. this off, save it for the next one. Alright, let's finish this off with a good solid whip finish. bigger hackle on our next one. And hopefully it won't break. But the idea is to get the hackle you know, off to the sides. So there you have it. That's our uh, first Montana nymph of the night. As we get, uh, as we tie a few, um, guess what? We're going to start looking better and better. It's actually been a while since I've tied these up. I perk near forgot how. Alright, let's go ahead and set you off to the side. And we'll get ready for another one. 
I'll do another one in a size 10 here. Nice big Montana nymph. Alright, so now we got 10 in the house. Good evening. Thank you all for joining me once again. We do this every Wednesday, rain or shine. Uh oh, oh no. We need to clean up on our aisle. Hold on, I got a little bit of a little bit of a major minor catastrophe here. We've got a little bit of uh, spilled solar res. Hold on, I need a paper towel. Um, let me throw my little standby up. All right, I'll be right back. Hold on, folks. we're back all right no actually yeah all right let's, let's pop that over yeah my paper towel was clock closer than I thought all right got Mary in the house Mary good evening thank you for tuning in all right no kidding where were we Get our size tenor hook in there. And before we start with our thread, we're going to add our lead free wire. Yep, we got the whole family is watching. And we got Mary's in the house. God, wow. A little bit of everybody. All right, lead free wire point zero two five. All right, we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then just after I do those first four wraps, that way I can use this as a lever to spin that around and access that edge just to make sure I get that nice and tight. So I can go four, five, six, and when we decided we're going to go lucky seven. Give us a little bit of weight. Uh, the chenille doesn't necessarily add much weight at all. Um, but we're all we're all happy when we get this in there. Alright. Slide that just a tick behind about an eye's length behind the eye. Eye eye. And once again, we're using our ADOT thread. That's at eight backslash zero. Carefully work our way through this wire. Build a little dam in the back before we trim off our working thread or our tag end. All right, let's reinforce this a little bit. Nice tight wraps in on and over the lead free wire. Now, I've actually had a little bit of success with this. Uh, chasing bluegill ice fishing add enough weight and it works all right let's grab our uh, saddle hackle just some saddle hackle for the back end this is a kind of an old junky feather you can see the tip of this is already broken off but hey, this bottom half it looks good to me. So let's go ahead and just strip off the fuzz just to 
get it out of the way. We're gonna grab a little batch. Pinch all the tips together. And then that just carefully just peels right off. And don't worry about the peel off side. What we're focused in on is the tips. Get those lined up as best as possible. All right, let's measure out our tail. About a half a hook's length I like to go. A little bit bigger of a nymph here. Pushing down way too hard on the vise. I like to rest my non-tying hand, my, in my case my left hand, I rest it on the vise and I can only take so much weight. Alright, let's get that back into position. Alright, because it was nice and level. Alright, let's go ahead and trim off our excess. And we'll find our black chenille. I believe it's a, a medium, black medium chenille. Again, let's go ahead and prepare our end of our chenille. We want it to look like a birthday candle, or birthday candle wick. Let's strip off a little bit of the fuzz, expose the inner core. That's what we're gonna tie into. In fact, what you want, can do if you want, is grab those two little threads and give it a little light tug and that will cinch up the material to your thread. Yep, 2020 has been an interesting year. Alright, let's palmer this forward. Nice and tight touching wraps. And again, we're going to work our way just up under this lead free wire. Because if we keep it down here, A, it's not going to be quite to that one third, two third point. But we want this to just bump up just a little bit. I like that. Now we're at our thorax position. We'll make sure we tie this. When we lock this off, we want to lock it off on the top of the fly because we're going to use the same for our wing case. All right, we'll just kind of let that hang off the back side to hang out. Too easy. Let's find our uh, hackle feather we're going to use for our, in our thorax. So this is way too big. We're just gonna kind of work our way closer down the neck. And even though we got let's, let's throw it on the gauge. See this would be a little bit too big still. about these. I think they're going to be just about close enough or good enough for my work. I think that'll be just fine. Let's tie this in right about there. A little trim on either side, a little high and tight. A little notch here, a little notch there. Hopefully you can see. Right, let's tie that in by our little notch. Now we can tie in our yellow chenille. And you can tie this, you can make these out of, you know, I guess a different variety of colors. But 
from what I understand, the black and the yellow is kind of the golden standard. I spin my thread just a little bit counterclockwise, anti-clockwise. That'll help get that to bind up a little bit. All right. Remember, don't crowd the eye. We'll do our yellow thorax. Again, we're only going to get a couple of wraps around this one. That's the number two. That's the number three. You know what? I found myself really crowding this earlier on this first one. So we're just going to leave it at that. One, two, tray. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. Let's uh, refind our hackle pliers. I'm looking for a different pair. I haven't been able to spot those ones in a while, which makes me a little. happy, but I do got spares. You know what that means. It means it's hackle time. And that's what happened last time. All right. Let's go once. Let's go twice. Hey. Oh boy, oh boy. I think we managed to salvage it. That was intense. All right, well, before we go too far, take those hackle fibers, push them off to the side, and then we can bring our chenille forward. This is going to be sweet. That's right, Mary, you got it. It's hackle time. Some things never change. We've been celebrating hackle time on this YouTube channel for over, I think, four years now. We're coming on four years. Here we go. Of 
questions, comments, concerns? What do we think? Montana Nymph. That will work. Let's add a little dab of head cement. And this we can just use this water based. Yeah, there's not many, there's not many of us fly tying YouTube channels that have been at it for this long. Grassroots efforts from the ground up we have. We've been at it, I want to say since February of 2017. I think that's when we did our first, uh, YouTube video on this channel. I used to do, I did probably about, I don't know, maybe a year's worth of other videos on a different channel. My first channel. But we're here today for Project Healing Waters. That's where I got my start. I was in a kind of a tough spot with my mental health so I decided to address that and enrolled myself into a PTSD program at the St. Cloud VA Hospital and one of the recreational activities offered was Project Healing Waters and no kidding there I was tied my very first woolly bugger wow and that was all, I don't know, not going to say uphill or downhill. The problem with tea is it gets cold too fast. So how's everybody doing tonight? We got, um, let's do a quick roll call. I know we got Mary, we got Richard, we got Josh, we got other Josh. Who else did I see in the house? I saw Ben. I'm here. Glad you guys are all here. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I always appreciate it. We're going to carry this on for a couple more, at least another hour and a half or so. So that was number two. So the hackle got a little chewy on that first one. Not the end of the world. If I had longer hackle that was, the, the feather was longer, I could get another turn or two, another wrap or two around that, but that is not what I have available. I got plenty of uh, other hackle available, but it's just way oversized. So I don't know. You do what you can. We're going to continue on. We're going to maybe switch. To a different colored thorax. What do you think of that? Maybe, uh, I don't know. We'll see what we got here. I got this, uh, this is interesting. Maybe, maybe this will make a nice thorax. It's got a little silver in that. We'll give that a try, huh? Gunpowder Angler is here. All right, good evening. So in addition to our Wednesday nights, I also do a live stream Monday mornings from, what do I got, 9 o'clock, 9 to 10, starting at 9, 1, 2, ouch, let's start this off right. Small little pinch. One, two, three, four. So once you get those first four wraps, then you can take a second, really start to adjust. Because we can work that around, pushing that edge down. It really minimizes waste. I've seen some YouTube tires, they cut that tag end off. Why cut it off? You're just wasting it. 
let's see if one, two, three, four, five, six, I don't know, seven or eight thereabouts. Go ahead and give that a trim off. And that's going to be it. Hear that? That's an eight old, don't you know? Take a few wraps of this away, a few wraps of that away, further securing this down. All right. Here we are, we're going to do our tail, which is just uh, some uh, black saddle hackle feathers. You get the tips together, the rest of it just kind of falls into place. I'm going to go with another batch. It's got that weird bend in it. That should work. See, I was digging through my chenille earlier and came across this. Now that chenille is a lot bigger than that chenille. Now I can force perspective it, but they're actually totally different, totally different in size. All right, let's go ahead and prepare this. We'll just strip a little of the fuzz off. Expose our inner core. that chenille. And we'll tie that into the back end. This is one of those flies. This is... I'm really, really starting to gravitate. Really starting to gravitate towards the simple, easy flies to tie. I really... Coachman. Too much. That's, in my opinion, that's almost just a little bit too much work. Uh, maybe I'm just, after all these years, these first few years, maybe I've just become the lazy fly tire. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like to tie super complex flies, or how do you like to roll? I like the simple. I love the keep it simple, stupid. I mean, like a woolly bugger, man, can't get much easier than that. 
Clouser minnow, too easy. To me, I mean, those are just like one, two ingredient flies. Maybe that's about it. It, it, it shouldn't take, in my opinion, it shouldn't take a day and a half to tie a fly. And, um, I mean, yes, it, yes, it, it should take a day and a half to tie a fly if that, if that's what you're tying. If you're tying a showpiece, then yes, take your time. Take a day and a half. Take two days. Or more. There you go. I will say there's not much of a market for tying flies for making money out of it. It seems to be even to teach it. There's I'll tell you what, I'll tell you this for free. There's no money into fly teaching fly tying. Um, I'm sure, you know, people do charge for classes and stuff, but you know, those are those are they're basically just covering their costs. They're not paying themselves hardly anything. Alright, let's get our... Oh yeah, we're going to do a different chenille. I like the challenge of the complex flies, but I like the simple ones. Well, see, the thing is, is the complex flies are great for uh, teaching you something. That That's, that's where you can really, really learn uh, some of the techniques and stuff. But yeah, I mean, there's... Who am I kidding? There's, I, love, I love it all. I love it all. Let's try this chenille. Let's see what we can do with this. It's kind of funky creme orange with a weird little silver tinsel on the inside of it. We're getting there. Yeah, Mary, those musky flies, they are definitely art. They're definitely something. I mean, they're, if nothing else, they're big. Here's a musky fly. Doo -doo. Articulated. Doo -doo. <laughs> All right. You know what time it is. Who wants to bet a shiny nickel? This hackle tip is going to break just like the other three have. Eek. Let's see if we can do it with. I knew it! I knew it was going to break off. Yeah, musky flies, it's not so much, you know, the complexity of it it's just raw material you're just throwing a half half a bucktails going into it that's all right and sometimes it's not even about how fishable the fly is when you're done tying it. I mean, you can tie a fly and never fish it just because it's art. I respect that a thousand percent. Gotta respect. And then you got the people that they can't tie a fly to save their life. As you would call it, breathtaking. It is a breathtaking fly. Rub a branch on it to make an ugly stick, if you know what I mean. But you know what? They had a blast tying it. And they're going to have fun fishing it. And that's what matters. 
There we go. Oh, and I even got a new tool for, uh, like everything else on my bench. I don't know where the other one is. But I got a, uh, the Minnesota Fly Tool. It's a hair stacker packer. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's got a big old, I mean, this is to get around big, big shanked hooks. You can really get some flare. A little close to the eye, but that's all right. That's one of the things I got to work on on this fly is not crowding the eye. And apparently ripping my thread in half. Hola smokus. We'll add a little dab of head cement on that. Little insurance policy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it's a step up from the big pen. Big time. You know, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do a musky fly next week. What do you guys think? I was going to do some sort of Thanksgiving Day, Thanksgiving special. What say you folks? The question is, is, do I have... Do I have a shank? Hackle pliers, dub, wax, dragon tails, loop, round bodies, heads. Plays, buggers, da da da, my life. Fish joints and shanks. Yeah, we can make something happen. I'm sure of it. Yeah, buddy. That'll work. Yeah, I think we might, maybe next week we might do a musky fly. A reverse deer hair flare. That's our little Montana nymph. weeks, I tell you that for free. I find myself eagerly awaiting the winter solstice because after that it's all uphill. All right, where are we at? We're almost uh, roughly about the halfway point. Um, let's continue on. Get a few more of these knocked out tonight. And we're going to stick with the size tens. I think if I go any smaller... I'll be going a little bit beyond the materials capabilities. 
at least with the chenille. I just afraid if I go too small. All right. 0 0.025 All right, looking good. Yeah, Mary, you've been remember 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 when you got to come to our Project Healing Waters program? Had to sit in for an afternoon or an evening. That was fun. I miss it. I really do. I was things uh, things I was talking about the other day with somebody. I was just you know I just really really miss the um, teaching face to face. I miss it. I really, really do. But right now is not the time to get up in somebody's face. I know I've caught a couple of colds <laughs> over the years teaching fly tying at the VA. I know for a fact. I, I brought home the crud. Um, you know, you're sitting there just teaching away and somebody coughs right in front of you. And what do you do? All right, let's tie on our thread. sick for a week and then you come back the next because then by the time you go back you're feeling fine you're feeling fine all right a few wraps of this way a few wraps of that away And I have pretty much confidence that lead-free wire is going nowhere. This is it. This is this is Project Healing Waters St. Cloud Edition. You are watching it right now. We have been doing this every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Have not missed one yet. All the way going back to March 18th, I want to say. Is when our original Minnesota stay-at-home orders came through the pipeline. Um, you know, and it's it's really it's really tough. I I try to just keep my chin up and move forward, but man, everybody, we all have our days, you know, and. Mental health, we have to do our best to take care of it. Uh, this year, I, there, this winter, um, one of the things I am going to try to do is I'm um, picking up uh, the cross country skis. Cross country skiing. Um, I've never really, I've never cross country skied before, but we do have some skis thanks to my uh, in laws. We've had them for a while now. Um, but this year is going to be the year uh, we get into them. Uh, the, the boots, the shoes, whatever you want to call it, they fit me fairly well. And I took some scrap wood and scrap lumber and I made a little, uh, little pad, a little block, whatever. I don't know, 32 inches wide or whatever. Anyways, I got a little thing to make a little track that my uh, skis track into. And I... Uh, did a couple I think I had it calculated out it's about 900 meters total distance here's our hackle tail I'll go a little bit prouder on this one a little bit thicker I am super excited you're in Fargo because after this Rona thing is done, um, 
definitely want to take a road trip out there and say hiya. Or have you take a road trip out here to say hiya. Because being in Fargo, you're literally half the distance as you used to be. <laughs> it's half the drive. Uh, but oh, I'm going to be thinking about you guys in Fargo this spring. You guys always get 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 uh, get hit with that river, that north river flowing the wrong way freezing up ice dams and junk okay so check this out this is my piece of chenille earlier and because of uh, the way I was holding it and working it I actually slid the the chenille uh, off of it so something to be aware of if you're working it in your fingertips that you don't necessarily want to Go too far, add too much tension. There's always too much of a good thing, we know that. All right, let's take our black chenille and we'll tie it in on the back. Ooh, that's nice. Red River, that's what it's called. The Red, ri the Red River goes north. It's one of those. One of the few rivers that defies logic and goes north in the northern hemisphere. Most rivers flow south in the northern hemisphere and north in the southern hemisphere. It's that centrifugal force of the planet spinning, you know? What do they call it though? Is that, is that a part of the Caloris effect? I know that's the thing with the toilet spinning. Which way the water drains. Actually, the Mississippi River flows north uh, a little bit uh, out of its headwaters before it makes its journey south, so. There's a little factoid for you folks. What direction does the Mississippi River initially flow? All right, let's get our hackle for our front end. Well, I can tell this bad boy's been picked through Let's see if we go with too big a hackle it just doesn't look right which is exactly what that feather is that's too much That'll work right there. Ooh, that's nice. Let's get rid of that fuzzy stuff. Make our little notch. of it. Let's try this if this works. I'm digging, I'm digging. this fluorescent chenille. 
a little bit finer. We'll see if we'll make it work. the eye, A.A. Ron. Don't crowd the eye. I think that would probably be, probably go down as probably the most common fly tying mistake. And that would just be crowding the eye. I, I It's too easy, it happens too easy, too quick. And it can happen to anybody. It can happen to you. All right. Who can already hear it in their mind's eye? Who can hear it when I'm not here? Ding ding, it's heckle time. That doesn't even surprise me anymore. Like the tips of this hackle is cursed. Destined to bing. Lock those off. I had somebody tell me once they're like at a Denny's or a Waffle House or some sort of diner and they, they heard the ding ding bell go and they just yelled, Hackle time! I like this color. I think I like this. A little fluorescent green. It's still in the. I'll still say it's still in the yellow family. Green is yellow. Green is yellow. Yellow is green. Just add some blue, and you'll see what I mean. Yeah, I just made that up. <laughs> what can I say? It's been a day. I mean, if it comes out looking a little chubby, that's all right. I have not really seen um, a skinny Montana nymph to speak of. Um, you know, in fact, here is... I saw one earlier that I did not tie. Here's a variation. Here's a fly I did not tie. But you can see where we're going with this, right? The 
the concepts are very similar. And it looks like it's not chenille. It looks like this top one is tied with yarn. And a white hackle. But I think the sediment is the same. The idea is the same there. Small little batch of flies that I did not tie came in a little box. Box of flies. But whoever tied them must have caught fish with them. Here's another interesting one. I mean, that's that's it. Not to be overthunk. Like I said. You know, oh, we could do some rubber legs. Uh, could do uh, rubber legs next week. Is that what we're? I was thinking about a path rubber legs. Maybe we'll do that next week. It's been a while since we've done a just a rubber leg. Let's go, let's do one more, size 10, ten, 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 ten. Ooh, I'm going to show you a little, little, little surprise for the tail on this one. I'm gonna pull out something you guys probably haven't seen. All right, let's get our wire. Where did I put you? Under the hackle. Hey Mary, thanks for tuning in girl. Uh, we should definitely catch up soon. It was good to see you. Glad you could tune in. And you have yourself a wonderful, wonderful evening. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, and please send your love to the family for me. Happy Thanksgiving. Gobble till you wobble. That's next week. Holy smokes. Thanksgiving next week. It's going to be another Thursday here at our house. Now there's enough pressure of everybody trying to get their Thanksgiving groceries and junk like that. I don't think we're going to add ourselves into that mix, into that craziness. We'll do, we'll do, uh, Mary, we'll do. All right. Finish tying this in up front, and then we'll work our way to the back. Because I was going to show you all a little something different you all can do for tails. Um, I'm pretty sure Josh was with me um, on one of these trips. But something that I frequently like to pick up. Here we go, some eyelashes Let's go with this box we'll go with the angelic wink and you don't have to be too picky with the flavors on these or the brand Let's 
super simply you just grab a clump and they're already stuck together on this side we've already got this little their little ball of wax or something on the end of that we'll bring our thread to the rear because it's not as long I like to tie them in so they flare or curve up. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Say what? And that's it. Bada boom, bada bing. I've got one little piece of chenille left. I think this will be long enough. Let's give it a try. Should be. Have you ever tied a fly with eyelashes? I have. I'm just gonna have just enough for that wing case. I think we'll have it. All right, let's find ourselves a little bit of how oh, we got to find our hackle first. There we go, tying our hackle. And you know what? I bet you we can get away with this. It so had its partner in green. I bet you it will work. This. They're calling it fluorescent red. That's a hot pink if I've ever seen one. That'd make a nice San Juan worm. There we go. I like that. Ding ding. Almost anticipate it now. Every single one of those feathers from this hackle patch has broke at the tip. Every single one. But if I didn't anticipate it now, then that's one of those kind of shame on me things, right? Fool me once. Pushing it down to the side, splitting the splitting the part. Thank you. 
There we go. I don't know. You tell me, what do you guys think? I need to grab a quick gulp of water. Alright, I'm going to put you on a quick pause. I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. I just need to grab myself a sip of water. Be right back, folks. Hold on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I had to go and get myself a little beverage. All this jibber-jabber, all this tying of flies can um, wear, your, uh, wear you down a little. I think my favorite... I'm gonna go back to that neon green. I think that's kind of my my favorite thus far. I 
But yeah, that's just a little uh, hack for you, ladies and gentlemen. If you ever need a little, uh, little something for a tail, for a nymph or something, uh, these little uh, faux eyelashes. I like them when they come in uh, little groupings, little clumps. Some good stuff there. Relatively cheap. I, I, I think when I got these, I'm pretty sure I did not pay a full dollar, dollar ninety-nine out of that. Pretty confident. I might have. I might have paid two dollars for a million tails. Who knows? Alright, so for those of you who are still watching, uh, pop quiz, what was the last fly that you tied? That's the pop quiz for the night. What is the last fly that you tied? What is What was it called? Is it an established fly? Did you freestyle it? Tell me about it. Tell me about your last fly. Tell the class. Tell the group. What your last fly that you tied was other than tonight well maybe it would be tonight if you're not tying uh, a montana nymph i'm curious as to what people are working on at your home bench Freestyle was the last fly that I tied. Awesome. And when was that, Josh? Was it recently? Because I know you keep telling me. I'm going to start tying. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Freestyling is my favorite. I love I love being able to just grab material and go with it. Not have any kind of preset agenda. Um, guide's choice, hair's ear. You know why they call it the guide's choice? Because it's easy and quick to tie. And it's effective. Cause I guarantee you, the guides guides typically tie their own flies. Uh, in in most cases, you know, it's they're not really dependent on the fly shop, or they might have a deal worked with the fly shop. Uh, Josh tied himself a uh, imitation spider with black wire legs, foam body. Ooh. Hook was the one laying on the bench. Touche. Nice. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and go with our traditional black hackle tail.
harvest ourselves a little bit of black. Chenille. And this is my kind of spool of chenille. It used to be a fly line spool, but now it's chenille. That's how it, that's when you know you're into tying flies is when you got bulk chenille. I went, went. I go through a lot of chenille when I was teaching, teaching classes. You can only imagine how much chenille you go through teaching willy buggers. A lot of chenille, a lot of marabou, and a lot of hackle. And I'm to the point where it's just like, I really don't even, I, after tying enough of these, I really don't even sweat worrying about, you know, those little niblets because nine times out of ten, palmering this forward, that's going to get trapped down. And whether it's a piece of thread that traps it down or the chenille itself that traps it down, I really don't care. care about is locking this off on the top side. I like it. Alright, Steve tied a little black stone fly and a freestyle Tenkara experiment. Ah, the freestyle Tenkara experiments. Those are probably by far one of my favorites as well. I've got a million of them just sitting around here. Here's one from a few days ago. Oh. Here we go. This one from a few days ago. Anyways. We wanted to get that uh Chenille for our thorax. because of the Monday morning coffee. Yep, that's the way we started off Monday mornings. It's a great way to kick off the week. Tying flies, drinking coffee. Had a good turnout this uh, last Monday. There was just as many there Monday morning as there is here, which is crazy. I like it. It's a lot of fun. And, you know, honestly, the day I really, truly stop having fun tying flies and sharing it with you guys, you won't see any more live streams from me. I'll be done. It's that simple. There's been a couple of times I was ready to throw in the towel. Uh, today was not an encouraging day. I got an email uh, from YouTube describing and laying out the updated terms and conditions stating that YouTube will be monetizing off of all creators content it doesn't matter who you are or what you create they're about to start throwing advertisements on top of everything 
And that's... It kind of bothers me that I sit here for hours and hours and hours and hours, week after week, creating content for everybody to view after the fact. And, you know, we get... I The YouTube channel, we get... We get some really good views here. Some good quality watch time. Especially during these live streams. And now they're going to start stinking it all up with commercials. Advertisements. That I, the creator, will never benefit from. Yeah, they're creating the space. But man... Represent taxation without representation. That's what it feels like. I don't know what just happened there. It just slipped right off. And I don't even know what kind of commercials they... I guess they're all the, the advertisements would be tailored directly for you, the viewer. So it's not like... It's not like Steve is going to see the same advertisements as Josh necessarily, or Josh is going to see the same advertisements as anybody else. I'm sure it's based off of whatever they're basing it off of. <laughs> That's the YouTube game. That's it's their it's their game. Got to play by their rules. If not, they can go find your own video streaming platform. Which I don't know. It's uh. I don't know where else to go that I could do live streams like this especially after have you know how many people are watching we have 11 11 viewers watching all right half of us were family um, I have over a thousand subscribers quote unquote subscribers 1131 subscribers and here we are in a live stream on Wednesday night and we have 11 people watching what percentage is that not that big but that's not what matters at least for me as a small channel as a small guy if I was expecting anything else I'd be crazy At one point, my channel was able to monetize, and I was actually, I think I was making like 15 cents a day or 17 cents a day or something like that on ad, ad revenue, and then they changed their policy and took that away from me. I worked my way all the way back up, and then they took it away from me again. And it's like, I'm just a YouTube, just a fly tying, teaching fly tying, that's it. But, I don't know. You look on the YouTube creators, spaces, this and that, and they make it seem like if you're good enough, you'll get this, you know, studio and whatnot. I don't know. I got a t-shirt. That's about it. There we go. I like the green one. I like the green and I like the yellow, the original. Oh, let's do maybe one more. Then I think I might call it a night. We're cranking through these. We're at two, four. We got six of them done already. Oh, I 
magnet. My cork is getting a little chewed up. You can see all the all the little holes. I think we'll try one more with the pink on it. Good old size 10. Really like the the barblessness of it. Again, it's not as dense, not as heavy as the lead wire. However, comma, it's safer for the environment. Here we go. I find it very relaxing live streaming. <laughs> person say that I am the minds them of Bob Ross Bob Ross of tying flies on YouTube and you know what that is a compliment I will always take that as a compliment because the tying fly should be relaxing it should never be it should never be stressful. If you are stressed tying flies, you need to take a break, walk away, or come back with a different different agenda. Now, if you're stressed because you're learning, it might be a good stress. Now, if you're stressing because it's all going to... <clears throat> well... Go back to what I said before. Maybe just need to step away, come back with a new agenda. Because you've seen it all night. I've been dealing with that hackle tip breaking every time, every time. But you know what? I'm not going to let it stress me out. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know it's going to happen, it's probably going to happen. I'd be surprised at this point if it didn't happen. But what do you do? 
you find yourself a little piece of black chenille, strip off the end of it and tie it on. That's what you do. At least that's what I would do. If I was me, which I am. If I was me, which I am. Do the back half of the body. Park our chenille on the top side. You almost have to go a little bit past it. And, and you know, it takes a little bit of a couple of goes to really get to the point where you can lock, lock it off consistently right on that top, top part of that picnic bench. And what did we do? We're going to go with the peak. But we need our heckle first. We'll see if this works. We're right to the wire on this. But you don't want to oversize it. You don't really want to go too big on your heckle. Keep it proportionate to itself. And you win. What do you win? Happiness. Then again, you know, when it comes to live streaming like this, it's essentially it's a two hour monologue. Unless I get some conversation out of the chat happening, which I'm always, always hoping for. I thrive off of you guys and gals in the comments and in the chat. Otherwise, I gotta wing it. And I come up with some crazy stuff when I start winging it. Hackle time. We'll grab our hackle feather by the hackle tip with our hackle pliers. Ooh, that's nice. Split the part on the top, more or less 50-50 on either side. And then we'll just get a little wing case on the back. And that is going to be that. Actually, I do not, very rarely, do I 
unless I really want to go back and see what I tied. I very rarely go back and watch my own live streams. Usually it's sometimes to see what uh, technical glitches happened and where and quality and junk like that, but I don't know, for the most part, I know what I did <laughs> in a general sense. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. little dab of head cement, a little bit of insurance policy up front. Can't go wrong with that on this one. And it just soaks right into that thread and we're good. All right. I think that's going to be it, folks. That's uh, some fun with the Montana Nymph. Let's go get that switched over. And in just a little bit. There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's going to be it for us this week. Uh, we're going to start turning things down, winding things down, getting ready for the weekend or the rest of this week. Get that turned off. Get that switched over so we can see your lovely faces, or you guys can see mine, rather. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for us this week. Um, we might tie some musky flies next week. We might not. Uh, that's going to require a uh, major cleanup on the bench. Um, and to be honest, I don't know if I'm that ready for all that. Um, but be that as it may, uh, this will be our... Uh, that's going to be it for this week. Next week is, what, the 25th uh, before uh, Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah, Josh, you'll, you'll Mr. Anderson, you'll like, uh, you like these. If you got uh, the chenille and the hackle, that's, that's basically all you need. Um, be sure to join me this Monday. Like my brother says, join me uh, this Monday. With Monday morning coffee live streams, we usually tie uh, some Tenkara style or something similar or something different. Who knows what we'll do, but um, that's it for tonight. Thank you all for watching. Happy tying, everybody. Uh, yeah, be safe out there. Uh, the numbers are spiking. They're getting worse. <sighs> Thoughts and prayers for everybody. Be good. Stay healthy, stay safe, happy time, yeah, sure, you betcha. Tight lines, peace.